What's going on, folks? Will Seward here with Tottenham Away. A little bit up with the June transfer wrap-up. When we go Tottenham Away. In the month of June, what have we what business have we done so far? Well, we signed Rosario, uh, goalkeeper. Um, because he has no Premier League experience, still yet to be seen. Uh, what he will do to improve the squad. Will he be able to continue the form that he has had in Italy in the English Premier League? We'll just have to wait and see. Also, James Madison signed, a sealed, delivered. It's official. And for me, this is a great signing. I mean, it's, um, you could say that we finally replaced Christian Eriksen. As far as having that type of number 10 style of player. Um, statistically, James Madison um, is, is up there, right? And consistently up there in England. Playing in a side that is honestly, well, obviously from this season, uh, worse than the one that he's moving into at, with Tottenham. So it's a benefit for us in that vein. Um, statistically as well, his uh, sofa score rating. I know what you guys think of sofa score. Some of you guys love it, some of you guys hate it. But his sofa score rating is 7.3, which from last season, which would have made James Madison, if he had that form at Tottenham, the second best player on our team, right behind Harry Kane with a 7.4 and above Hoybier with a 7.1. Uh, some coming into that, you know, third spot officially, but in, in this instance with James Madison. Uh, four spot with a 7.08 from last season. So that's great, right? And um, him coming into the system is going to be really good. Uh, it should be, you know, look, nobody can complain now, right? All of your whiners and moaners about, oh, we don't have an attacking midfield. You got one now, right? You got one now. No more complaining. Right, no more moaning and groaning and rumble and bumble. All right, just suck it up. You've got your attacking midfielder now, one that is quality. Right, nobody ever before he came to Tottenham said he wasn't a player. You've got that now. Um, what else has happened? You know, we're still linked to a few center backs. Um, you know, uh, Topsova. Uh, Autobiao, um, that bloke from Germany, um, was it Van, Van Venders, Vesvesen? <laughs> but, um, still no really, we got Harry Winks going to Leicester the other way. Good. Need to get rid of him. Um, no root in Hoybier, maybe going to Atletico Madrid. You know, that now that means we need to go back into the market and get a number six, right? Because he's the th closest thing we've got to a six. You know, Basuma is not a six; he's an eight. Um, Bentancur is not a six; he's an eight. So who do we have? Who do we have that can play as a six? You know, right in front of that back line, especially playing four at the back. That number six now is going to be extremely important. Um, Tyler Adams would be a great opportunity. Um, I think probably one of the best ball playing number sixes, you know, under 25 right now. I'm not going to lie. Better than Calvin Phillips. Um, better than who else is out there in young and playing in that position. Um, can't think of it right now off the top of my head, but I think it would be, he would be, he would fit, especially in this Postacago system. He's not going to cost a whole lot of money. He's going to fit the budget thing. You're talking about a top quality player who can get things done. Um, if you just look at Leeds form while he was in their side, you know, they were winning and they were keeping things tight. And with him out of the side, they've completely fell off the map. Uh, he's, he, he's a really good quality player. Any team would be lucky to have him in the Premier League. Um, but yeah. That's some some that's a position that we need to fill now. Um, even James Ward Prowse, 
right? Would be a person now that could come in and fill in that number six role. If you, you know, if you don't like, I think Tyler Adams is a better player than James Ward Prowse, but he's there's another option there for you, right? Southampton been, have been re, have been being relegated means that he's probably available now. Um, but we've got to sign some type of midfielder in this in to fill it to to pick up for Hoybier if he ends up heading over to Spain. Uh, we also got Harry Kane. The links with Harry Kane to Bayern Munich are getting stronger and stronger every single day. Do I think Hank is going to get to go? Do I think he's going to get that move? Probably not. Should we sell him? Probably, right? Like the 80 million pound, even if it's only 80 million pound, even if it's 70 million pound, that's better than zero next season because he's gone, right? Like I don't, unless the mere, unless Pasacoglu works an absolute miracle and we win something next season for the first time in 20 years. And I mean something more than a Caribou Cup. Harry Kane's gone next season, right? Um, well, I hope I would rather keep him, sign him on a new deal and move on that direction. I just don't think that that's gonna happen. I don't think that we're gonna win anything next season under Pasta Coglu. I, I think the likelihood is low. And what if, what if, because it's Pasta Coglu, we get a similar thing out of Harry Kane as we've seen under Nuno, where he downs tools and doesn't score a goal until Christmas. Right, then what's the point of him being here? If he's gonna mope around and not play and be unmotivated and do all of these things, we should sell him. We should sell him. Um, Cause either way you're gonna lose him next season, you're gonna lose him on a free, right? So that's my position on Harry Kane. Out, more outbounds, more possible outbounds. There's not really a whole lot tracking right now. I wish we had, you know, contacts in Saudi Arabia where we could offload Dyer like that fake Fabrizio Romano account was tweeting around and spreading the rumor. That would be great, right? 15 to 20 million for all of our s slop. That would be great. Uh, there is one more. I, I think Perisic has some actual links to Fabernacci and also to uh, Saudi Arabia. That would be good. He's got a year left on his contract. Maybe we can get 10 to 15 million out of him, um, especially if he's going over to Saudi Arabia. Um, you know, other incomings now. I don't know, dude. I do not know. We need to sign center backs. We need two more center backs. We need a defensive midfielder. And then I think we've got our starting 11 pretty much squared away. You know, we need a number eight because uh, Benton Core is probably not going to be back till mid season. So, I, I guess if we sign a six, you've got Madison Basuma, that that new number six that can come in and play um, until Benton Core comes back, and then Benton Core and Basuma can kind of, um, you know, duel it out for that second eight position and. And I guess Benton Corb and Suma can fill in as a six, but I don't feel comfortable with them with them being a number six. So we need a midfielder. We need two center backs. Minimum. Minimum two center backs. Well, minimum one good, one great, one 7.0 sofa score rated center back, right? In a top three league. Not top five, but top three league. And then the starting 11 is looking it's looking solid now there's no depth but we don't have to play in europe next season we don't have to worry about depth right we just got to worry about injuries so one game a week minus the cup competitions you know we can go full strength in the cups we can go full strength week in week out that each player's got five days for us uh, the starting 11 is looking pretty good i'm not gonna lie now when you get outside of the starting 11 there are huge gaping gaps that need to be filled. Um, but that's where we stand right now, sitting here on the 30th of June, 2023. Let me know down below in the comments below, 
who you think we're going to sign next. What do you think is going to be the next signing for Tottenham Hotspur? And who do you think is going to be going out next? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and all of that stuff. Hit that notification bell. Let you know every single time we go live here on Tottenham Away. Stay strong, stay Spurs. We'll see you guys next time. Get out of here!